I'm here at Cayman Brac. Cayman Brac is the easternmost of the three Cayman Islands. And what it looks like I've discovered is uh, an abandoned resort. I'm gonna go check it out. Park my car right over here. I'm on the south side of the island, on the western edge. I think the island's about 12 miles long. This building here, there's three buildings it looks like, three main buildings. It's peach or pink, looks like some of the structure, structural damage, uh, looks like it's faced a little bit of that. I see a board up there in the middle uh, where one of the balconies maybe used to be, maybe a piece of uh, concrete fell off. Um, looks like some of the stairs have sustained some damage. Not going to try my luck going up through the door at the very top. You can see somebody kind of got a little bit clever with their uh, graffiti and their spray paint. Go around the left side real quick. And I've got uh, my camera in manual instead of auto. I want to try to make the audio sound a little bit crisper. This camera has a tendency to run the audio a little bit high. That's nice. Yeah, you know, you can't get away from that even if you come to a remote island. I am going to be going in some of the buildings. Just want to check out what we got here. If you want to see what's out here, it's mainly just lots of uh, overgrown grass, some plants, and a lot of uh, fallen palm. Looks like somebody's back in the back there in a boat. All right, second building, kind of an orange look to it. Looks like there's no way through here. There might be a way through over here. It's a boardwalk. Oh, it's hot. I'm already sweating. I put on some uh, sunscreen before I left. I brought, a, brought some water with me. So I know it's gonna be a little hot baking under this sun today. Some sort of electrical room here. Wow, really, really pretty, pretty flowers out here. You get yellow, um, there's pink over here. I see some white, all that with the blue building looks really nice. It's like, uh, some trash on the ground, coconuts. Jumping up on this wall. Don't know what the point of that was. Some sort of thing to hang under. Probably used to have leaves on it. Nice little structure to stand on. You get some red flowers right here. There's colors all around. It's still growing, just overgrown. Doing this all continuously, so I'm keeping focus as best as possible. I mean, really, really beautiful flowers and uh, vegetation out front. Of course, not to be trumped by the almighty palm tree. Looks like I found something interesting over here. Looks like the entrance, but it's kind of overgrown. So I'm gonna try to find another way in. Ah, perfect. Uh, little storage room. Let's see if you can see inside. Not much to see. It's like this is where they would hook up cable 
Looks like I found my way in. Watching out for wildlife. Seen a few dead snakes on the road. Wow. Swimming pool, a little bit overgrown. Before I get to that, let me do a quick overview of what's around here. Let me kind of step out here. Guest rooms, palm trees, brick walkways. There's the ocean, most obviously. Swimming pool. Apologies for all the zooming. Just want to make sure everything looks pretty quality. Hinges are completely rusted. Lots of leaves, flowers, tons of glass. Sliding door, some kind of, uh, I guess that's the, I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, in here, you get the closet. Let's check out what's over here. Outlet. Wow. Stepped inside. Flowers all over the floor. I was able to video record in here after all. There's me in the dirty mirror. This was about the time when a ghost would show up right there in the mirror and then I'd turn and it wouldn't be there. Looks like we got lots of damage over time. Not much to see. This obviously the shower, there's still glass there. Not gonna mess with that. Toilet. Let's head on back outside. Now, it looks like there's tons of glass that's just shattered everywhere. Let's head over here. Wow. I can see some people. Let me get down. I mean, this is the back of the peach building, pink building in the uh, other one. And just a bunch of uh, palms. It's hot, hot, hot. Jeez. Look at that boat's going away now. We got the swimming pool. Completely overgrown as expected over the years. This vegetation is, <laughs> according to the uh, pool measurements, six, seven, maybe even eight, nine feet high. I'm still looking out here at the ocean. Apologies for any uh, noise into the microphone from the wind. Here's a look at the pool and the rooms that overlook them. The swimming pool rules there in the middle. I'll go over there in a second. Looks like some offices, and then there's a larger room over here. Let's go check this stuff out, and let's go inside, too. This is very cool. Should be pretty simple. Now I'm in the swimming pool. And you get this very beautiful looking uh, dolphin uh, markings put here whenever the pool was first constructed. And all the overgrown grass, I see a Pepsi can, lots of coconuts, pipes, tarp, paper. Let's head back up. <sighs> 
Sandbags. Might be a clue. Warning. No lifeguard on duty. No diving. All right, I'm pretty sure that's Comic Sans. I could be wrong. It's been a few days since I've used a computer. So, or any kind of uh, computer, smartphone, whatever. Divi Tiara. Might be the name of the place. Pool hours, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Ah, broken glass everywhere. This whole window of broken glass right here. I'm not even gonna try to touch it. That's what she said. Step inside the office. This is a little bit odd in that there's a lot of stuff here as if people kind of picked up and ran. I found some sort of photo here. Let me lean it against something. Looks like we have a date here. September 9th and 10th, the weekend of uh, 2006. This is the Cayman Net News. Did anything happen on this date? I don't know. Let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to put everything back where it was. It's like a 2006 calendar for fiber built umbrellas. I keep thinking I see something out of the corner of my eye. It's a shadow. Broken key, and there's a car holding down a note. Let's see what this is. Phone number and name. As if it was. Written down the day, whatever happened, happened. Although, don't know if a hurricane necessarily did this, because it's the last calendar here from 2006. It doesn't make much sense. I don't know if there was a hurricane until 2008. I'll have to look that up. Uh, here's a photo of a guy with a jackhammer going at the pool from the other side. I think over here is where we are right now, possibly. All right, let's get out of this office. There's like a phone book, a Heineken can. All right, as we leave the office here, filing cabinets on my right, sandbags, sandbags. And down right below, a remote control. Looks like that is a door but the screen is blown out um, it's another office uh, there's a lamp there's a, a drill bit set um, not a lot to see in there the blinds are completely ripped up they're still there only one set of blinds left in this office over here now And this, pretty sure, is the gift shop. Because you got the Visa and MasterCard on the door. It's a glass door so you can see inside. Hello? Hello? Nothing left. I don't really have a desire to go in here. Let's see what we got here. I heard some rustling, so I'm not going to go in there too far. I don't see anything. There's like a glass display case here on the right and a wall on the left. 
There's some water bottles in here. An old air conditioner. Looks like this used to be the logo for the place. Let's get a nice shot of that. Swaying palm tree. We found the lobby. As you can see, some minor structural damage. Nothing too bad, but. And here we go. Just like the pool sign said, Divi Tiara Beach Resort, Cayman Brock. Mondays they had manager's night with rum punch and snacks and local crafts. Tuesdays and Thursdays, night dives. And it looks like they had a drawing of the island. See, we're right here in the southwest, as I said earlier. DVTR Beach Resort. And then the island goes all the way up here. It looks like maybe some of the ceiling damage erased some of whatever used to be here. Um, this says beach art with. I can't really read the rest. Something about beach art. I found the internet. Kind of moves, not really. And that looks like the credit card slot. They make you pay? I don't really know, yeah. Oh, it looks like you get an internet card. Front desk. Let's go, let's start here. Keys to all the rooms. And there's a listing here. Looks like key numbers, key corresponding to rooms or something. A pool, beach, and towel card. And there's the old credit card swiper. And I'm not gonna try to move it. Everything here is rusted. Welcome to our resort. Let's go over here. Now let's. I'll come back to the front desk, but looks like we got two bathrooms up here at the front. Really beautiful uh, outside, as I said earlier. I mean, an ideal location for a beach resort. Palm trees, and they put in flowers and everything else here. Really beautiful. I'm not going to do too much checking out of these rooms because they look like prime breeding ground for, yeah, I'm not going in there. <laughs> Up here on the front desk, remote control, a map of the island, let me blow on it. Didn't do much. Someone had to eat. Uh, tennis racket, cases, taxi log, um, and there's a, a room back there, definitely for phone lines. Um, let's go a little bit behind, because I know some of you are probably curious as I am as to what is in here. I'm taking this very slow. Don't want to disturb anything that might be on the ground in here. There's glass everywhere. Glass, glass, glass. All right. Um, cabinets. Uh, some kind of printer. Beer bottles. I thought that was a safe at first, but it's not. That is a cabinet in the middle. are these 
Ah, it's for uh, for rooms. I guess they would record if the Johnsons were in rooms such and such. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get a sample here. Maintenance request. June 22nd, 2005, room 303, toilet is not filling up. What does that say? Looks like Ruel. Ruel got the job done. Look at that, look at that. The call came in at 6.15 a.m. Less than two hours later, this guy got it done at 7.50 a.m. before breakfast. But that's good service. What happened to this hotel, you know? I don't know if there's anything interesting. Looks like they did a lot of bookkeeping by paper. This might be a good thing, I don't know. But as you can see, also had a little bit of computing going on. This looks like, let's see what we got. It's a Divi Resort catalog. Carrying this over here so I can see under light just a little bit better. Looks like I found the right page. It's getting close here. There's one of the buildings. Looks like there used to be picnic tables out front. Uh, the beach with a bunch of signs around it. Maybe by the bar area. Diving. Used to have a fleet of boats. It says it offers a variety of accommodation levels, uh, as well as amenities like freshwater pool, tennis court, conference facility, an award-winning restaurant, uh, scuba as a priority, fully equipped dive shop. Um, down here on the ground, I'm not positive, but let me pick these up. These look like... I just heard something. I think it's okay. Meal vouchers. That's not focused. Uh, this looks like a piece of paper. It? it looks like a sticker, but I can't tell. Pool beach towel card. I'm not gonna take anything but this. You know, a little souvenir. I was in the pool. I guess I need a card for that, right? Correctable film ribbons. What's this for? I remember seeing these a long time ago. I guess that would be for a typewriter or something, right? Aha, uh -huh. we found out who works here. General manager, Patty, Mona Lisa, Mary, Leanna, Stanley, Deborah. Deborah's the account. Re receiving, receivable. She might be one of those offices we went to. Accounts paid. Laurel. Coconut Boutique. Maybe that's the... I heard something else. Maybe that's the shop. Coconut Boutique. I don't see anybody here. But I heard more than one or two little rustles. Okay. There's my car. I don't see anybody else yet. Um. Oh, it's bright. Here's one of the rooms. Some of the floor is cracked over there. I'm not gonna do much walking around here. There's a TV over there on the floor, lampshades, shelves. Head back downstairs. I'm back outside. Looks like that boat is gone. Over here, swimming pool. That first office is over here. Second office we saw is over here. I want to see what's in here. Wow. 
Must be the dining hall. Telephone on the ground, some kind of paper. And it looks like slips for food here in the dining hall, all scattered in the corner, stuck, not able to blow outside with the wind. Looking back over here, um, uh huh. Moving with the wind, no power. Uh, cash register. Uh, expected no money. I'm not sure if those are coffee beans or what. I'm um, looking around the ground and everything. Looks to be uh, little cards showing uh, different food that they used to serve here. As you can see right here. Breakfast menu. You can pause if you want to read. Lots of other stuff around here. Looks like the chocolate brownies. Maybe they weren't enough for this place to stay alive, huh? We found beach bar. Oh, glass. I'm gonna head out the door over here. Looks like the safest way to get out of here. Run over here. Beautiful day. Let me take a moment just to look at that. Very nice colors on this place. Still here on the buildings as you saw behind us and here. And here we got the beach bar. First, remember those tennis rackets? Or rather the cases. We've got the court. Can't get in. Nothing out there but coconuts and uh, a lot of palm and wood. This is really amazing, the fact this beach bar is this intact. Even if this place has only been down since uh, 2006. I don't know if I mentioned, but today it's, it's April 2013 when I'm making this video. As you can see, this place is adorned with signs made by people. You know, if you look through the hotel, or the resort rather, you can really find connections and one of the connections is that chalkboard we saw on the inside that said uh, you can make art and it looks like this is where that art was placed and a lot of it looks well preserved I see some dogs over here I don't see an owner though three dogs you're probably gonna start hearing the wind a lot through the microphone um, Bring my windscreen, that's probably would have been a good thing, huh? Let's see if anything's left now inside the bar here. The door's still intact. Barely moves. Kick it open. Looks like the coolers are all empty. Not a trace left. If you're going to take something, I guess you take the beer. Let's circle around here. Oh, we've got a chair over here. Obviously, where TV used to be, left side TV as well. Getting a little bit windy. That looks like a boathouse. Over there. I'm not going to go over there though. It's a little bit uh, dull, maybe overgrown. Don't need to go over there. Just a bit. Um, and here's
here's a little hut with more signs. Wow. A lot of uh, people probably used to come here. Kind of circling around now, don't know what else to look at. I don't have a beer, but I'll settle for my bottle of water here to uh, tide me over here at the bar. Thank you.